Hi everybody, you're welcome to yet another video by Martha and I welcome you to this video. If it's your first time to watch, please just comment me and I'll get back to you and give you a shout out. So today's nugget or what I'm going to talk about today is very important and I'm talking about patience. Anyone knows what patience is? Of course, in simple terms, patience is the ability to wait without being annoyed or without being overwhelmed. And I need to talk about four ways to be the patient person you never thought you could be. Yeah, so one is that you should make yourself wait. So, if you make yourself wait, that is one of the ways that can help you to be a patient person. For example, if you want to take a milkshake at midday, but here it is 10.30. So, by making yourself wait maybe a few minutes more, that is one of the ways that you can be a patient person. Then, point number two is stop doing things that are not important. I know we have very many thoughts, we have many things to do, you have your schedule done and there could be things that bring stress to you. So why are you doing the things that stress you? Or is there a better way you can approach things so that you don't get stressed? So stop doing the things that are not important and in that you're going to be a patient person. So this takes us to the third point, be mindful of the things making you impatient. It talks about making schedules, making lists. We have many thoughts in our mind and it's better we come into awareness of what we think. So if there are those thoughts, you're jumping from this to that. So. Let's be mindful of those things that make us impatient. Sometimes, for instance, you may have a book. You want the book summarized for you in a minute. That means don't have the patience to start to the end. Or maybe you want to try out a recipe, but you're like, ah, oh, it's better I do a delivery other than cooking so it's better to be mindful of the things that make us impatient and if you're mindful on those things that make us impatient then we are going to work on them in the possible ways without being compressed so our fourth point is relax and take deep breaths did you know that relaxing and taking deep breaths is actually important because it helps us be in this present moment it helps us to it helps us to like be alert so if you relax and take a breath, deep breath it's gonna help and actually bonus point add on this on relaxation walking taking walks can also be something very good for you it can help you emotionally and physically as well and then it will help you be that patient person you never thought you would be because if you're walking or if you're relaxing and breathing you're in the moment you're releasing a lot of energy and at the end of the day you're going to be a better person who is patient so this week it's all about patience. Patience is a virtue. But if we practice all these tips one at a time, then we shall achieve patience as a virtue. Thank you so much for watching. If this made value to you, please just like, share, comment. Yeah, and we learn from one another. Peace and love. Here we go, Martha. Bye.